there is an image of January the 6th in the production. I don't want to spoil it for too many people, but there is. And even if there were not an actual image, I think it would, in the modern audience, the connection it's pretty clear, it's pretty easy to make. And so what I'm asking as the director is, if you feel for these people who did these terrible things, what do you feel for those people who were planning to do terrible things, who were crying out to assassinate? And I think it's also interesting that when the piece was first written, Ken, there's a song in the, in the piece called Something Just Broke, which is about where were you when President Kennedy died, right? Where were you in that moment in time? So a lot of our audience wasn't here when, wasn't on this earth when President Kennedy was assassinated. Um, for them, the thing that broke is, happened on January the 6th, when democracy cracked. Uh, and I think that connection is very potent in the piece. Then, Bianca, is this show a warning of what could be to come? I mean, while you've been in production, January 6th happened. Yeah, I, I don't know if it's a warning. It feels more like um, a mirror to see what can happen when um, people feel unheard, when people feel like they aren't connected to their country, to their community. It feels like these characters are a mirror of what we can be if we aren't connected and present in our own lives. Then how scary is it, right? The show is a warning, it's a mirror, it's a reflection on society, but it's a mirror based on these people doing heinous things because they think it's the right thing to do. How scary is that? How scary is it to not talk about it? to act like it's not happening, to let another January 6th take place. Um, i rather come on stage every night and give voice to this, give voice to these people who have done these heinous things, and then ask the rest of us, what are you doing about it? How are you interpreting what is happening right now? I did it to bring down the government of Abraham Lincoln and to avenge the ravaged South. This show has a lot of meaning for a lot of people. Its creator, Stephen Sondheim, passed away just a couple of weeks ago. Why do you think he created this work? What do you think he wanted people to see? You know, I spoke to him on the telephone a couple of days before he died, and uh, he was a personal friend of mine as well as the, this extraordinary person who changed the face of the American musical theater. And um, we were talking about the piece, and he said, you know, I wanted to scare people. I am unworthy of your love. What Steve had the extraordinary ability to do is get to the humanity in the idea. Um, and, you know, his music and his lyrics, his lyrics are extraordinary, but his, in, in, in the worst character, in, uh, in somebody like um, John Wilkes Booth, who is singing the most appalling words about culture. He writes the most beautiful tune. Don't be scared, you won't prevail. Everybody's free and pale. No one can be put in jail. So he's constantly mixing beauty and awfulness together, because every human being is, is a mix of those two things. Then because in making the show, you've studied this history, these assassins, and now you're living, watching the repercussions of January 6th. Do you think things are different now or it's more of the same, an ugly same? Well, uh, as a foreign person who loves this country, who was educated in this country for some time, who owes a lot to this country, I would say something major has to happen. And somehow or another, We've got to turn our... Maybe the theatre can be some small part of helping this, but turn our thinking into how do we work together? How do we help each other as opposed to how do we get angry with each other?